we're going to be a big black building. Lovely for heat retention in this fucking frigid weather. It's got to drive you nuts, but this is my uh, viewpoint. Probably 30 to 40 percent of the time. Boring. Boring. This is scrap removal, safety first. You should jump on Andy and ride it down like a surfboard. For the gram! <laughs> I don't video much. Yeah. That's not... Zoom in, bro! That Zoom! Shifty. Zoom! The uh, boring bit. <laughs> I've got to do it so that you know everything's safe. I'll just just sort of get it half tight when I'm fitting it off. But I'm going to go through and check everything, yeah? These particular breakers are two newton meters. It says it, oh, I won't move the camera because it's a pain in the bum to set up there, but uh, it says two meters, two newton meters there. So this adjusts up to six, I don't know if I can, where, this, where the camera is. This adjusts up to six, but, um, or five, five it was. Two's not out of control tight, but I give my opponent like this is an expensive screwdriver. So I give the young fellas this um, when they're doing some terminations every now and then, just so they um, sort of start getting a feeling for the different tighten tightnesses. Now these clamp terminals are different to like a screw that bites into the cable sort of style termination. Yeah, it's a little, just a little, it's, it's a bit boring, but this, this is pretty important. Like, um, you know, it's nice to go to bed at night and say that, yep, uh, all my terminations were talked and I'm not going to burn someone's house down. So, you know, you're signing off on jobs like these, it's something to consider. So maybe i uh, consider getting one of these boys or a couple hundred bucks here in Australia and uh, the peace of mind, you know. Close to the edge. <laughs> Yeah, mate. Hang on, let me get this out of the way for you. <laughs> 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 he was the first young boy. Yeah. <laughs> Drop it. Yeah, you both. It? If you both drop it, it's uh, the easiest to control. Pump it, mate. Full speed. <laughs> How's it going, boys? Fuck, oh, they missed that one.
into my fuck up here, boys. We're gonna have to extend these. We've got a bit more cable there to do it. Um, I'm not sure whether I gave the measurement wrong or um, it got translated wrong. I'm not sure what happened, but they should have been the same length as the consumer mains, and they were the perfect length. So I, um, I'm not exactly sure how that happened, but they've got to go down the tray, across there, and down into that way there. So that'll get fixed up and heat shrink to the jaw will be up on the tray there, it won't be too bad. So, you know, shit happens. Got him. And the quality of the twist. <laughs> I remember my first time too, mate. <laughs> Fucking shameful. We got Chewy's tailored um, firebox cutout here. There's a firebox. That's his cutout. There we go. Nice bubble on there. It's going to work a treat. I got a Quite a load of these things to cut out, so thanks, mate. Boys and girls, I've got this uh, the boards on now. Don't cream me for it, but the door and the door they're too far out. Um, I'm trying to get the builder to consider putting a bigger door. Um, I'm not sure he's going to do it. This isn't actually to code, but there's not a whole lot I can do about it. I didn't realize this was a, a double panel. This essential, like this, this board and this board here, are the same board electrically. So the um, cabling goes from the main switch there across through there and up to the top of the chassis there. I didn't realize this at the time and I would have got them to order a bigger door, but these doors are very expensive and you know, now I'm in a bit of a pickle because you know, I, I'm, I'm not following the rules to the letter, but I think I've got a workaround. Um, I'll tr I've just got to change the doors from a door to like a lift off panel. So if I do that, I think I, uh, I think I can get away with it. Anyway, um, I'll just show you, because I, I didn't actually show you, I'm not sure if you can see this, but this is what I did in the back of this panel here. So I've um, I actually forgot to ask him about that frame that I did. I forgot to actually show the frame before I put the switchboards on. So um, there you go, all the way up there. I've got a middle support and then another one. We managed to get it up there. I had Jakey up on the tray. Tray is very well supported up there. All the cables on him now are giving it extra support. So he managed to scurry on up there, little legend. And uh, yeah, we've just braced the bottom with uh, some different brackets. I ordered a bunch of different brackets to do it. 
and uh, yeah, that one there. So it's very solid. I'm quite happy with how that turned out because I was pretty worried that this was going to be real flimsy, but I've got a supporting cantilever bracket there and on this side. And as soon as I did that, everything just shore up really well. And then with the cross beams, I've got some um, 20 mil strut on the back facing this way. And with the cross beam, uh, there's one on each sort of these these boards are only bolted like in the center which is a little weird but um, yeah so I've got a runner for that board to support that and then there's another runner at that level as well so yeah I'm um, I'm just here today I'm on my lonesome so I'm just working out all these circuits um, in this this board here these two <coughs> um, issue is that all I had all the cabling coming down again I didn't realize it was a double panel I thought we could do like a you know like a double 48 pole or something or a, you know you know a big 90 pole or 120 pole board but they've done it like this for whatever reason so I've got all the cabling coming down but it was just for one board that's how I planned it so what I've got to do now I've put them off with you around again I've put some bushings in there that was the one they gave us I guess to get things in and out and there's another one here for the, the mains for this chassis um, so I've put two more 50 mil bushes there and I've just got to sort it I'm going to sort this is the lighting side so I'm, I'm going to sort all the lighting cables out get them across through my um, screw bushes there and then once I've got all that sorted I'll get all these ones back lumen in all nicely and you know that's probably where I'll pick up with this video next but I'm stripping and marking my, um, you know, this is my method for, I'll get the tools out of the way. This is my method for doing a board, like you definitely want to, sorry about the light too. You definitely want to, um, you definitely want to mark up what you've got, if it's if it's there or not. I've got the emergency circuits there as well. And then uh, on this side with the power, I'll start doing that once I've started, you know, stripping. And I strip, relabel it with my little method and, um, yeah just tick them off on the plan then after this <clears throat> i've got to go over here to my actual drawing and um click along to the power section well and lighting section and just confirm that i've got everything because you need to double check before like with the way that i terminate switchboards i like doing very neatly i don't want to come in and see oh fuck, we, we've missed that circuit or it's not here or it's it's hanging out in this bundle or something i want to make sure that every single circuit that i've run in the building um that's you know highlighted off as as ran i want to make sure it's in that board before i start terminating so that's my little that's my little pro tip and when you've got like you know fucking close to you know over 50 so i don't, I don't know how many circuits there is exactly but there's over 50 circuits here you definitely want to make sure that everything's there before you start so yeah um that's it i'll uh i'll see you soon hey everyone end of the day uh got a good bit done today so everything's stripped and um label oh, i'll show you my little labeling labeling method again so uh oh my god that light's horrible right so that's how i mark a 31 this is uh, a lot quicker. Focus. 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 Yeah. So that's our marker 31, 3 and 1 uh, with a gap. Um, it's heaps quicker than doing tape flags. And basically, when you strip the cable, you can just use, you know, one tool and you're marking everything up. So I, I do also mark where I strip, just relabel it just in case because. This is fallible. Um, you can make a mistake and need to redo something. So if you do need to trace a Y, at least you've got the mark there and you don't have to go fucking around out in the field. So I've got a few circuits left here. These ones um, have been added on the job and I haven't allocated them to a breaker here yet. So I've got my um, my schedule here. I've ticked off all the, all the circuits that I've got. Um, so I'll, I need to double check this with the plan over here. Uh, this is a job for Monday, but I've got to double check this make sure that 46 um, Make sure where that goes and then with this board in particular uh, This is the power essential board. So a lot of the medical service panels and panels that and rooms that have like an RCD in the room So resettable in the room 
I have to run them off circuit breakers. So I need to double check that 46 is a RCD in the field sort of thing. And I don't have to swap this to a RCD here. So there's some RCDs up the top. These haven't quite been right because the board builder got a spec from like five years ago and they've allocated the breaker. So we're chopping and changing. So uh, obviously all the lights are just on RCDs because there's no um, medical medical patient area rules in regarding to the light so it's, it's all just um it's all just here so i just got to sort that out and yeah so it's been a pretty good day i've had the tunes blasting up there all day had the metal on and everyone else is getting pissed off which is just great fuck them so yeah um i'll just kick back into this on monday i've actually got one circuit up here that's uh didn't have a label so I've got to get the F-set out and track that down. Tone generator, F-set, whatever it is. And uh, the last little bit to do is just sort out some of this mess down here. Now, when we started this job, sort of start of the year, um, long story short, this job started five years ago and had a whole lot of holdups and we're back. There was a lot of stuff done in the basement, but um, someone come in and clipped like three meters of cable out of these conduits. <laughs> like, didn't pull them out or anything, just clipped, you know, the three metres that was here. It was fucking be worth like 15 bucks, maybe. Anyway, so I've got to sort that out, make sure everything's right down there. And then I'm just going to put a little piece of tray and then uh, some 150 tray along the bottom of the boards here to get those circuits up. And I need to do a little cover or something over that because you know, obviously the short one there, I'm going to have to do a box or something just to make it pretty. And um, yeah, so... That's pretty well it for the day. I pack up everything on my own and fucking go home and have a couple of cool fucking beers, boys.